Saturday morning and I want to look at another thing concerning Abraham's life. So let's go to chapter 12 verses 7 through 9. And it says about Abraham, Then the Lord appeared to Abraham, or to Abram, and said, To your descendants I will give this land. And there he built an altar to the Lord who appeared to him. And he moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel, and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. So Abraham journeyed going on still towards the south. As God called this man Abraham or Abram out of the land of uh, the Ur of the Chaldeans and brought him into what we now know as Israel or the land of promise, God made certain promises to him and Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now that's how everyone's saved. Everyone is saved the exact same way Abraham was. We trust God and his promises. Though we can't see the fulfillment of those promises, we don't understand everything, we just simply trust the Lord and we follow the Lord. And he followed the Lord to the land that God had shown him. And when he got there, I want you to notice several things about his life that needs to be true about our lives. Number one, did you notice he built an altar there to worship the Lord? You'll find that in numerous accounts of Abraham's life. Wherever he would go, eventually you will see the term, and he built an altar there to call upon the name of the Lord. He, he built an altar to serve God. Now, we can do that in our home as well, a place where we worship the Lord. He didn't have a building to worship in. He and his family just worshiped wherever it was that they could build an altar, a place of sacrifice and a place of service. And that needs to be the way our lives are, that we uh, look to the Lord in everything, that we might worship Him, that we might honor Him, and that be able to be used by Him. Notice also, he stayed close to Bethel. Now, Bethel will be mentioned several times in the life of Abraham, then later on in Jacob's life as well. Most of us know that Bethel literally translated in the Hebrew means the house of God, the house of El. El is the name of one of the names of God, uh, shortened for Elohim. And so the house of God, his house of God, of course, didn't have a roof over it like ours did. Uh, his house, again, where he worshiped the Lord was out in nature, but he worshiped the Lord. He saw the house of God as important. And he stayed with it. I like the fact that it says on numerous occasions, he called upon the name of the Lord. Now, what does that mean? That means he looked to God to meet his needs. He, he called upon his name. He didn't just say, God help me. He, he knew his name. And we don't know how to pronounce it. Some pronounce it Yahweh. Uh, there's Yehovah. It's not sure how it is to be pronounced. But he would call upon that name. And he would bless that name and he would serve God throughout his life. And though it doesn't say it in this text, it's obvious that he exercised faith. And he believed in God. According to Romans, it says, And Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And so it says also in Hebrews chapter number 11, By faith Abraham followed the Lord. Now, very quickly, I want you to notice the difference here between relationship and religion. A lot of people have religion, but Abraham was all about relationship. Now, religion has a place in the sense of uh, having duties and rituals and, and ceremonies, and there's nothing wrong with those. In, in fact, at times, God requires those. But it was really all about a relationship. That which pleased God is that Abraham believed God, called upon God, worshiped God, and developed a relationship. And most of the time, that was just him and his family, uh, just a small number of people. And it was from location to location as he moved throughout uh, the land that God had given to him. But that's what God wants for you and I, is relationship. Now, church has its place, and we ought to stay close to the house of God. And sacrifice has its place, and singing songs of prayer, they all have their place. But it's the relationship that is the most important. Please try to develop that relationship with the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that we can depend upon you in all things, that we can call upon your name and know that your name is mighty and awesome and you can meet our needs according to your riches. 
And we know there's no other name given among men by where we can be saved other than the name of Jesus. And one day at his name, we're all going to bow our knees. And every one of us are going to confess that he is our Lord. And we do that today. Help us to serve you fully and faithfully upon this earth, even as Abraham did in his days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.